Yo, what's up, you guys? It's Humongous Jeffrey! No, it's uh, Big Joey. And uh, today, we're going to be covering yet another episode of Heavy Workshop Cosmetics. So, if you guys watched the last one, you already know how this goes down. You guys in the Discord sent me a ton of different heavy cosmetics that you guys want me to rate, either that I would like in the game, or that I wouldn't like in the game, or maybe I would just have to hold off on and maybe, maybe give some time to think about. But anyways, we now have those next 30 cosmetics, so we're going to go ahead and cover them. And before I get to start, by the way, I just want to say this this cosmetic on the shop right now, the wild weaves for the scout. Yeah, that needs to go in the summer case edition. That that looks amazing, and not totally because it looks like a, a scout version of Big Joey. No, no, no. It's just a just a very beautiful cosmetic. Anyways, all right. So starting off, number one. So starting off, we've got the raging bull. So yeah, this is a great start. Honestly, the raging bull looks like an impressive cosmetic. I. Gotta say, um, it's it's a really cool gladiator kind of like Centurion look for heavy, and uh, although it doesn't really have any cosmetics right now that I guess would go with it, I still just think it'd be a cool like just something for the heavy to have right now. Um, and actually, I've already rated this one, <laughs> so no need to even do it. But yeah, that already had my stamp of approval on it, so we're all good there. All right, going on to the next one, the brutal Bratva. Uh. I think this is just kind of like I can't I can't say for sure because I'm not from Russia, but from seeing pictures before and stuff, I, I think I guess this is supposed to be like a stereotypical Russian male look. Like I, I recognize the uh, the Adidas tracksuits and stuff like that, and obviously this isn't all Russian males, but like just a look that tends to be in Russia. So, um, although although I I think it's an interesting look, I don't know that people would want to necessarily walk around with a beat up looking heavy like the heavy is supposed to be like this victorious like just charging character so i don't know me personally i think i'm gonna put a no on that one but you know i maybe somebody else would like it the key hall captain i the keel hall captain wow um all right well it's it's kind of hard to pronounce but i gotta say this is a dope cosmetic um i i actually kind of like that it has its own like physics on the beard when you run at the heavy and yeah like why not add a pirate heavy at this point i mean you've got the pirate soldier i think you've even got the pirate demo man this could be a really cool look for the heavy and very unique so uh yeah i'm gonna put that one in you could even try to make like a black beard look out of that i bet if you put the eye patch over the heavy and stuff so yeah definitely definitely in uh the motherland main style trident wow this that is that is a lot of hair for one man, for one very large Russian man. You know, this kind of looks like, uh, <laughs> I kind of think this looks like Jeff Bridges in a way. Like when Jeff Bridges would like grow his hair all the way out and his beard all the way out. This this kind of looks like the heavy version of Jeff Bridges. Um, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, I'm going to put a ask me again later on this one. That That is an interesting look for the heavy. I bet there's going to be some people in the comments that are like, oh yeah, you know, that needs to go in the game. That needs to go in the game. So we'll see. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure yet. The Bee Hopper's Bristles. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I this is... That's definitely a Ninja Turtles reference, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, they made it obvious. Okay, so that's definitely like the... I want to say the pig villain in uh, Ninja Turtles. Uh, so, d do I think that Heavy should look like the pig Ninja Turtle character? Um, it, 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 ask me later. Ask ask me later. I'm, I'm not really quite <laughs> sure on that one yet. Uh, the Two Punch Man, KGB style. Oh, so, okay, so it's literally just putting the Killing Glove of Boxing on the Heavy's head, and yes, of course, they also have their own physics added to them. Wow, they actually punch it looks like. Like, let me see when he turns to the side again. Yeah, it actually looks like that one on the left swung. That's pretty interesting. Um, I think I wouldn't wear this personally, but I could see a lot of Hoovies loving this. I could see a lot of Hoovies loving this. So, for the sake of the Hoovies that somehow still enjoy my channel, I'm gonna say yes to this. Yes. For sure. And I believe the second one, yeah. This was a reskin, so it's basically just, this is like the, the Gru version, and I, I imagine this would be the same hat. I imagine, like, if this were to drop in, like, a case or something, maybe the summer case, maybe the Halloween case, that this would just be, like, the second skin of the first one. So I'm going to put a yes on this one, too, but I basically think it would just be the same, the same hat. All right, moving on, 
The Jawbreaker. Uh, yeah. Yeah, actually, that's clean. That's like a, kind of like a mafia look for the heavy. And I think a lot of heavies, especially when they play like um, Shotgun Hoovy, I, I think, or, or Fat Scout, I, I think this is definitely a look that a lot of those heavies would appreciate. Kind of the, uh, the mafia type vibe of the heavy. You know, honestly, like, there is like a one kind of suit cosmetic for heavy right now, but it's not great. So I would welcome some more suit cosmetics for heavy. So yeah, I'm going to put that one in, definitely. Especially if you can get those, maybe the pants or something. That would be really cool. Oh, oh, okay. So literally the pants are right <laughs> Okay, well, do I need to say anything more? Yeah, no. G give him the pants and give him the shirt. That makes the man. The suit makes the man. Boom. There you go. All right, great. <laughs> what a great follow-up. The Heavy Machinery MK2. Okay, so so this is literally the Terminator for Heavy. Um, you know, I, I almost can't think of a better theme. I mean, I'm sure I could, but but that is a great theme for the Heavy. Honestly, he's got a giant minigun. He's just this giant tank machine of a man. I, I would say yes. I would say for sure yes. Oh, and it could even... Oh, man, if you could paint that or if it just changed even just one color like that. That'd be really cool. Yeah, so so definitely Terminator Heavy, for sure. The Monkey Mug. Okay, so is this... What, is this a Caveman Heavy? What exactly... Oh, the facial one. Okay, so Style Gatherer and Style Hunter. You know, it, it's funny because the Heavy is... Like, by lore, he's known as like this actually pretty smart, learnt-up Russian individual... But I guess because of, like, every stereotypical heavy man you'll ever meet, we give off these kind of, like, boisterous ape vibes. So <laughs> I think at this point, people would be accepting to the idea of, of a caveman heavy. So, you know what? Yeah, sure, why not? Let's, let's just go ahead and add the caveman heavy. That looks really cool, too, with the facial paint, honestly. So, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a yes on that. Stamp of approval. And speaking of stamp of approval... Boy, this is not going to get one. What in the world is this? Like, when I ask my mods, and I'm like, hey, mods, make sure you put in some, some serious inquiries here, and then, and then this. What? What even is that? Is that just, like, heavy as, like, a wrinkled up head from, like, bashing other ram heavies? Like, what, what is that supposed to be? I don't know. This just, <laughs> this looks awful, dude. Oh, my God. Who made this? Scorms? Listen, Scorms, I'm sure... I'm sure maybe you had your share of great cosmetics. I'm just saying, this might not be one of them. Anyways, moving on. The Puff Papa. Um, I mean, this is a cosmetic. It, this doesn't really stand out to me in any way, but I mean, it is... It, it would be... It's, it's cold in Russia, so that would fit Heavy's character. Um, it's a big kind of like, I guess, what you call it, a Leparka jacket? It's a big um, winter jacket. And uh, I don't think Heavy has anything quite like this just yet. So, yeah, why not? Sure. It's not anything that would, like, I, I probably wouldn't wear it, but I would understand why people would want this in the game. So, yeah, Puff Papa gets the pass. Next, the People's Peacoat. The People's Peacoat? So is this, like, uh... Oh. Oh, that goes with, like, the sailor look. Oh, and we have the... We had the beard kind of pirate look from before, from earlier, with that one cosmetic, and it even would fit now, so... Yeah, no, let's throw in another pirate cosmetic. Yeah, it's kind of cool, actually. The People's Peacoat. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Chromavision. Uh, this... this... uh... Cool, cool goggles? Yeah. Okay, okay, you know what? Actually, that makes sense right there. That makes sense. I was not sold on this at all, and now I'm sold. Okay. I mean, I was kind of sold, but not fully. But now, with some of these, that makes sense. Yeah, no. They're nice. Um, it's just a cool little extra, I guess, misc you could throw on your heavy. Just add some flavor. Yeah, why not? Let's put that one in the game. Next, the Coke Swain Coat. Oh, wow. Yeah, if you want to talk about any cosmetic going with that one from earlier. <laughs> like like the redhead white Russian. <laughs> it's interesting. Oh, oh, so this is probably the same creator, actually. And then they just threw it together with this whole look. Yeah, that is really cool. For some reason, that reminds me of that one pirate character they put in um, a Banjo-Kazooie game. It was like as an Easter egg. I think it might have been in Banjo-Tooie. I, I wonder if this is actually referencing that or not. I'm not entirely sure, but that's a good looking... Uh, that's a good-looking cosmetic combo. So, yeah, definitely going.
definitely going on my list. Next, the Deviant Dome. Oh, man, we're getting into some of the juicy stuff now. All right, so basically a full Thanos loadout for the heavy. Wow, that would be really cool. Um, I, I, Okay, I'll say this. I'll say this. I would love for the Thanos heavy to be in Team Fortress 2, but with one stipulation, I would want this to be Halloween only. And part of the only reason is, is because you know if you put Thanos heavy in Team Fortress 2, like if you did it right now, no Halloween restriction, there's going to be like nothing but Thanos heavy. It's <laughs> like all over some of our servers. So... I would say make it like a special occasion type heavy and then come Halloween we can have like a hundred Thanos heavies running around destroying Dust Bowl servers. But uh, yeah, no, you got my uh, definite stamp of approval on that one. Next, the Slapstick Suspenders. Oh, okay, so this, this cosmetic was kind of meant to go with that spooky like Joker um, cosmetic we saw last time for the heavy. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think that could fit. I mean, especially if they added the Joker face cosmetic. But um, even if they didn't, honestly, I think... <laughs> oh my god, that looks funny, though. But I think even if they didn't, I mean, <laughs> you could do something with that. I wouldn't want to, but I'm sure you could. Oh, man, yeah, sure. Why not? Put that in there, too. Next, we got the duck float. Um... Okay, all right, all right. So, so first off, mods. This is not even a heavy only cosmetic for the heavy. But, but secondly, why is that the background to SpongeBob SquarePants in the background? Isn't that literally just the backdrop from SpongeBob, and they like blurred it out and then put the uh, whatever. Um, all right. So, what do I think of these these well SFM'd uh, duck cosmetic portraits here? I. I'm sure some Hoovy somewhere would love it and hate me if I didn't put this in the game. And look, you can even change the color scheme of the ducks. Yeah, yeah, that one's got to go in. That one's got to go in. Man, I'm getting way too lenient on what I'm letting in right now. All right, next, the meathead. Wow. Wow, that that is terrifying. Okay, so basically, the medic was trying to help the heavy... Uh, heal up or something and something went terribly wrong and his skin just got completely flipped inside out so now heavy is just a giant meat sack um you know like lore wise that could be really funny that could be really cool um I would say oh you could even change it like green oh that'd be so cool um yeah yeah this is gonna get my stamp of approval but I would say only if it's Halloween oh which it is so, yeah, nope, there you go. Absolutely, absolutely. For Halloween only, that would be an incredibly dope cosmetic. Let's get that this year, 2021. Next, the Huo Long Helmet. Wow. Wow. That that looks really cool. Actually, yeah, and they put it with, um, I forgot the name of it from last time, the something Kaplan, I think it's called, but... Yeah, that would definitely be the, the body cosmetic to put with it. And that's a really cool look with the Hue Along here. Yeah, I, I think I think that's great. And you could even... Well, you already knew that. I was going to say you could swap it off with the samurai looking hat. But man, that looks awesome. Definitely. Like, this would have to be... If I could only choose like three from this run so far, this would definitely be one of them. That's, that's solid. I like that. I like that a lot. The Classy Comrade. Style 1 of a white shirt. Oh, so Style 2 comes with a tie. Uh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. Like I said, we could use more suit cosmetics for the heavy. And I think this one, unlike the other one that was kind of a more of a mafia vibe, I think this could give more of like a James Bond vibe to heavy. And although heavy's not exactly doing James Bond's things, he's kind of more loud and in your face, I still think heavy should get a suit. You know, just because he's a big guy doesn't mean he can't fit a nice suit. Discrimination in our Team Fortress 2. All right, going on next. The Heavy Banker. Oh, is this... Oh, okay, so this is more like a combo deal. Okay, so you would get kind of a mustache cigar look and then a very tall top hat for the Heavy. Um... Uh... Ask me again later. Not not too quite sold on this one. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a neat concept, 
but I don't know. It's kind of like a, I guess, a Scrooge concept for the heavy. I don't know. I don't know. Not, not too sold yet. Not too sold. The Siberian Shave. Is this literally just Zangief? Is there Zangief? How do you say his name? Something like that. Zangief from Street Fighter. That's literally what's meant to be. <laughs> okay, so this is literally a Street Fighter character, and they would give. Oh, that's the full combo. Wow, is that so? Is this just the beard, or is this like the full? Okay, well, either way, if you're gonna put in the facial cosmetic, yeah, definitely put in all of that with it. That would be so cool. So you could literally just be the Street Fighter heavy. <laughs> That'd be such a cool look. And I mean, the beard by itself even works. I mean, it looks like yeah, they've thrown together some combos that could work, even if you didn't want to do it. I like the squared off beard look for heavy. That's that's really cool. Yeah, no, that's great. Great work by oh wow, five different creators. Great work to all of you. I'm definitely slapping a yes on that one. All right, we're we're down past our our final ten here. The Knight Rider. Um, I mean it's cool. It kind of just looks like a jacket. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess it looks like a biker jacket. Um. Maybe, maybe ask me again later on this one. It's, 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 it's a jacket. I, uh, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Metal heavy. Oh, wow. Yeah, no, actually, I know, I know for a fact a bunch of heavies would love this. Um, I remember some guy a while back even had, like, a metal intro for his heavy channel or something. So, this would be sick. It's Halloween only? I don't think it should even be Halloween only. Um. Oh, unless it's going to come with the facial paint like that. If it's going to come with the facial paint, maybe Halloween only. But if it was just the hair, I think that could be cool year-round. Oh, no, but it definitely looks like they planned it for for the face paint all year. Um, actually, you know what, though? <laughs> you know what, though? I might have, to, might have to bite my own words here. If they did put this cosmetic in, then this jacket might make more sense. Honestly, if you had, like, that kind of... Yeah, the Knight Rider metal jacket, and then you've got this to go with it. Yeah, actually, that could work. So, you know what? In first time in cosmetic history, me me reviewing cosmetic history, let me change my answer. Let's put a yes on the Knight Rider, and let's put a definite yes on the Metal Heavy. But change this. Change this to, change this to where it could be year-round. You know, maybe, maybe even have it to where it's no face paint during the year and if you could somehow do it make it to where it's only face paint during Halloween that that could even be a cool alternative perhaps uh the steam fortress heavy bot oh wow this this is a throwback so I, I don't know if all of you have seen this video or not but I actually referenced uh this cosmetic specifically in um my video where I talked about what I thought the perfect heavy update could look like if the heavy update ever comes and I thought this would be amazing. Um, I spoke of that they should do like a big MVM update for the heavy update. And this would obviously make a ton of sense to give to the heavy if it was an MVM themed update. Um, but even if it isn't an MVM update that would come up, I think that's still just a really cool, really funny look for heavy. It even apparently opens up so you can see the heavy's face at certain times. Um, yeah, I just think that's a really funny themed look for the heavy. I'd really like that in the game, with or without an MVM update, so yeah, definitely, definitely. The Desperado Duster. Um, well, we don't have kind of a, a pistol look for the heavy like that, but we do have all those cosmetics right there. So maybe, I wonder if this is the same creator that actually put the Wild Wisp and the, and the Grim Hat in rotation. Um, maybe they meant for this one to come in with it too originally, and Valve just decided not to, but... This, this is a really cool look for the Heavy, and considering the cosmetics that we have now for it, they might as well. I mean, that's, that's a solid look for the Heavy. That's a solid whole loadout right there, and you've got alternatives you could certainly make out of it. You could even make like some sort of Vampire Hunter look out of that, I'd think. So, yeah, definitely. Man, it seems like this whole run-through right now has just been yeses. Very, very rarely have I been kind of stumped on some of these. The Hazard Hat Case. Uh, <laughs> this kind of looks like something you give more to the pyro. Yeah, like that. That obviously makes sense that they put the heavy with this hat in there with the pyro. You know what? I'm questionable about this one. And since I've said yes to so many already, this, this is going to be the one where I put my foot down. I'm going to put a no on this one. This looks like it would belong more to the pyro. Um, and it just covers like heavy's entire head. So I, I'm going to put a no on that one. 
Um, but let's move on. Final two. The Kung Fu Pounder. Wait, does this actually have a 3D... Oh, man, it's been deleted. So this must be a pretty old one. So this was 2018. But you, so you would literally just be a whole panda. Heavy would just be a whole ass panda. That would be really funny, actually. I would, I would really enjoy that if I could just run around as a whole panda heavy, um, with like the Huel Long heater or something. I, I think that this would be actually. This might surprise you guys. I actually think that this would be a dope loadout. But again, I would think that this should be restricted to Halloween. But I would think that would be so funny if every Halloween, all of a sudden, you look around on the map. You're on your you're on your favorite map. I don't know what that is. Maybe 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 you're on Swiftwater, and you look out in the battle, and all of a sudden, there's a panda running at you full speed with a minigun. I, I think that would be genuinely awesome. I would love to die to the panda heavy. <laughs> so, yeah, panda heavy gets my stamp of approval. And to the final cosmetic, we've got the Siberian Shorts. Are, are these just, are these just beach shorts for the heavy? Yo, that is, that is some of the coolest shit. That is some of the coolest shit I have ever seen for heavy. Yo, yo, I would, I would pro, I would possibly replace the booty shorts I have now. I would possibly permanently replace my booty shorts, my actual Big Joey loadout. For these shorts. That's awesome. That's such like a funny look. Like, okay, besides me kind of wanting to have like this goofy but like, uh, like, I don't know, violent vibe at the same time. Hoovies would love this. I know Hoovies would love this. Hoovies would swap this out immediately. Maybe put the flip-flops on it. Maybe put like kind of a beachy, non-serious look. Maybe they'd put that, that duck cosmetic from earlier on their heads and put it with this. But that's such... Oh, cool cosmetic. And you know what? With the with the summer cases possibly coming out soon, you know, maybe in a few months here, I would say that not only am I going to put a stamp of approval, but somebody's got to show this to Valve. I'm going to put a favorite on this. I'm going to put an award on this. I'm going to give them, what do I have left? A clap. What's the highest I got? I'm going to put, I'm going to put saucy. I'm going to put some sauce on that. That is amazing. I like that a lot. So, yeah. Of, of any of the cosmetics they're going to get in, this is another one. This is going to have to be in my top three. That is awesome. All right, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoyed this second episode of me rating some heavy workshop cosmetics. Um, if you guys want to possibly join in on another one, join my Discord, which I will have linked in the comments below. And until next time, this was Big Joey. Later.